Greetings all from Andy McCann here at CrossFit Garage where routine is the enemy and competition is king. So this week's programming, let's see here, uh, for the week of the 6th, on Monday we have two Metcons, 10 minutes apiece with 10 minutes rest between. So it's 30 minutes of total, uh, I guess, class time. And there's going to be a lot of warm up to get here. You got to uh, warm up to your back squat and warm up with the, your push press. So there is no isolated lift today, we're actually going to use those percentages that we've been gathering to test ourselves in a workout using the back squat with uh, speed. Obviously, 60% is going to look very different to everybody, but the point is it's heavy to you, so you can push yourself through this. Uh, double unders and singles scored a 60 single unders, so single unders is what it's supposed to be, but we'll give the double under folks a, a little advantage there, and burpees. 10-minute rest, stay stretched, warm, you know, don't just sit there and do nothing and then hit the next workout. Again, these bottom ones here are for reference. Put in some numbers there. It'll help boost your percentages and get you to something more accurate. Next day, one thing I've noticed a lot about our running is we run really badly. So our coaches are going to show you how to have uh, some better run form. Simple things that you can do to increase your um, run capability is loosen up your shoulders and then with your arms, have your uh, elbows at a 90 degrees and go from with your hands from your pockets to your ears, basically. And as you drive your arms, you'll drive your legs. So watch that little video. Have fun with that. And this is going to be a lot of running. The next day, this is in the format. This week is in the format of what CrossFit headquarters would like us to do, where it's Metcons and then a lift day. So this uh, Wednesday is a lift day, so it's clean and jerk one rep max. You're going to spend a lot of time here getting under the bar. This is a squat clean if you can. If it's not, that's fine, but I would like it to be a squat clean and a jerk. So you can use split would be preferred because you should be able to do more, but you can use push. And then if you fail in the jerk, but you get that clean, I have a number right there. So you could actually put that in there and say, well, I got the clean. So there it is. But make sure you're squatting these things. Um, You'll get a, it's, you should get a higher number if you can squat it, but some of you can't yet because of the technical um, skill set there. So you'll probably be doing some power clean. Work with the coach. Really try hard to get yourself under the bar. All right. And then when that's done, you're going to do a few laps, stretch out, and you're going to do a one 400-meter run for time using the skills that you practiced the day before. Thursday is Tabata this. We did this a while ago, and it got kind of screwed up. So for those who did it right, you'll be one step up on everybody else. But here's what we're doing. You do Tabata row. So you do an eight-minute segment of rows, and where you're on, where you row for 20 seconds, you rest for 10 seconds. You row for 20, you do that. So it's um, eight intervals, not eight minutes. Sorry, I think I said eight minutes. So eight intervals, which would be four minutes. And then you rest for a minute and move to the next one. This is a long workout. For those of you who have already done it and did it right, you should have very small numbers. Let me pause this and show you mine. Okay, so back in about two months ago, we did this. And as you can see, um, I wrote in my total reps right there. But if you were to go to this day, let me go log into it, you'll see my reps are really low. So here are my scores. So for row, I got seven calories, squat 18, seven, eight, and 11. These are the low scores, right? So I know that this next time through, I should try to hit eight and see if I can increase my Tabata performance so that um, 20 seconds of pushing uh, with 10 seconds rest. And the next one, I should try to go to 19 and see if I can hit 19 every time. So this teaches you how to pace yourself inside of these pushing elements. And then on Friday, we have back or a CrossFit total, which is back squat, shoulder press, and deadlift. The way this is supposed to work is you warm yourself up, get to, let's say you're going to do shoulder press first, and you can do it in whatever order you want. So if you do your shoulder press first, you warm yourself up, you get three attempts at your max lift, and then you're done. You don't get to sit there and keep going. You get three shots. You go to your back squat, you warm yourself up, and you say, okay, I'm going to hit this number, let's go. And you try it for that number. You don't keep going up. Well, you can, but you get three attempts, that's it. And then you move on to your deadlift with three attempts. So it shouldn't take you two hours to do this. You should be able to do it all in an hour if you keep moving along. When you hit those numbers, I put here for reference, you can add in a back squat score, shoulder press, and deadlift so you can keep track of that stuff.